All right, welcome back to our Google Hangouts. Uh, we're reporting from you from the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. Right now, we're joined uh, with one of the stars down here this week, and that's UCLA defensive end, defensive lineman Dayton Jones. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, the week's halfway over. You know, there's been three practices, and just give your, you know, your overall thoughts on the week and how you feel it's been going so far. It's been a great week down here in Mobile. Uh, just want to come down here, uh, show my dominance. Showcase my abilities in front of all the scouts, in front of all the GMs, and just come. My main focus is just to come down here and be myself and have fun. What do you feel like uh, your best attribute is as a you know a pass rusher or just a defensive lineman that you think um, you showed this year at UCLA and that you're going to carry forward with you? Uh, my main uh, attribute is uh, being able to go from speed to power. Uh, when I'm rushing off the edge, uh, I have a great get off. Great, and great hands, and when I get off the ball, you know that's my number one weapon. You know, when I get guys' feet moving, you know, I can get into guys' bodies and get them going back, and count with it. Use, uh, use a counter move, get off the block. You know, just from sitting here talking to you a little bit, you kind of told told me a couple things about how they used you this year at UCLA. Why don't you just tell people at home that are watching, you know, how you were used in certain situations? Uh, you used a nose tackle, defensive tackle, and just tell a little bit about your responsibilities and what they asked you to do at UCLA this year. Well, uh, this year at UCLA, uh, you know, we, we, under Jim Moore and uh, Lou Spanos as a defense coordinator. Uh, they had me playing a new role my whole entire career at UCLA. I was a 4-3 strong side defensive end, third down, nickel situations. Go to 3-tech. As you guys know, the same thing Justin Tuck does. Uh, this year, it was something new. We ran a 3-4 defense. Pretty much we're in four-eye alignments. And it was an unselfish, basically it was an unselfish act. Uh, as, you, as you guys know, the Steelers on the same defense. Um, basically, we're penetrators and after we penetrated, we read, but a lot of times, you know, I got upfield, I penetrated, and I got, I was able to get guys off my body, which allowed me to be in the backfield, to get TFLs, and be very disruptive in the backfield. Um, also, on third downs and nickels, I was able to get one-on-one -on -one matchup versus the guards, uh, get upfield, show my pass rush ability from the inside, uh, use a plethora of hand moves to affect the quarterback. At times, I was moved to nose guard. Uh, I had one-on-one. -on -one with the centers, and I was able to dominate from every position on the defense line this year. Um, can you just talk about some of the players you just mentioned, Justin Tuck, and just some of the players that, you know, when you do watch football, that you really sit down and, you know, maybe take some, so how they use their hands or their first step that, you know, that you'd like to try to use some of their moves to in, uh, put into your game? Almost well, definitely. Uh, in the offseason at, uh, at UCLA, uh, we had an MMA instructor come and teach us how to use our hands by them and we played off so well so I recommend anyone who's watching this video you know you get a chance in your off season you know, do some yoga either boxing or MMA and that works tremendously with the hands you know working on how to strike uh, where to punch guys and you know if you're a D lineman you need to have nasty violent hands you know, that's something that you can't you, you should love you should want to have and that's something that I brought into my game this year. All right, without getting into too much detail, obviously, just tell us, you know, what NFL th uh, teams, how they project you uh, to the defensive line in the NFL. We already talked about how versatile you are. How do NFL teams, uh, have, have, how have they been telling you that they see you being used in certain situations? Most NFL teams see me as a 3-4 defensive end. Uh, a lot of teams do. Uh, a lot of teams see me as a 3-4 defensive end. Uh, Pretty much doing the same thing I did this past season at UCLA, which which uh, had me you know, allow me to be very effective versus offensive tackles in a run game and then in the pass game to affect the quarterback. But most uh, most teams see me as a strong side defensive end, then on third down, uh, bumping me in the inside uh, to three technique and rushing the pass and being very effective from there. And you know, I'm pretty excited wherever whatever I'm able to. Uh, Play and on the next level, I'm gonna try to be as best as I can. And finally, just who's your favorite player that you you know you watch? Whether it's uh, someone that you practice with or someone you've seen on film, who's your favorite player that you've seen play the game? Oh, uh, my favorite player of all time that I've seen play the game is uh, retired Michael Strahan. Uh, there's nothing like it. Just the way he uses his hands, uh, the way he gets guys leaning, uh, cross chop hammers. Uh, it's, it's nothing like that move. It's called the Hall of Fame move. <laughs>
No one's never seen it. Google, I mean, YouTube, all the Michael Strahan Hall of Fame. It's ridiculous. I've been trying to learn that move ever since, and you know, I'm starting to pick it up. And I can tell you firsthand that he used that move today, and he's he's been tor turning a lot of heads down here. Um, he's having a great week. So I suggest you, you know, if you're trying to track prospects, you're definitely going to want to keep an eye on this kid because he's going to be playing on Sundays next week and he's going to be making an impact. So on behalf of Google Plus and Raj to watch and the Senior Bowl, I just want to thank Dayton for, you know, stopping by and being patient with us. And, you know, his love for the game obviously shines through, so I just want to wish him luck th uh, throughout this NFL journey of his. Thank you very much.